just absolutely crushed that, dude. That's a good fish. Fish. A little bigger. Look at that. Fish. A good one, too. Welcome back everybody. We are at a small lake near my house today. The water is absolutely chocolate milk as you guys can see even though it has not rained here in a month. I'm here with Connor and Owen in the small aluminum boat and brought a ton of rods. Hopefully they're eating moving baits or a jig but it's getting down to the 40s now at night in October here so the water temperature is rapidly dropping and that combined with the chocolate milk water so the fishing might not be that great. The lake's super small so we're only going to fish it for a few hours so we're going to get to fishing. Enjoy. It's a medium moderate. Yeah. You have a medium fast spinning reel. Fast is how bendy it is. Medium. Oh, Do I have a fish? First or second crass with the crankbait, and we have an absolute giant bass. <laughs> this is the target right here. Target size. Okay. How do you have so many hooks in you? First cast with the square bill. These are the fish we are after. Wow. Is it time to change it up? <laughs> Square build the move. It didn't say yeah. <laughs> Same. Just heard. See the white thing in the tree right there? Crankbait or a leaf? Straight in front of us. So I'm going with a leaf. leaf. It's yeah. a white leaf. That looks a lot oh, like wait. a crankbait. No, that's a crankbait. That, no, is that a might leaf. be a whopper plop. No? Could that be a whopper? It's a whopper whopper, yeah. Like 15 bucks. It's the micro version, too. I I literally was re I just I've just flipped that stick and reeled down. And it like we are we it ate at the boat. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. Did you watch me catch that fish? Yeah. Bass number two on the crankbait. That's a good fish. Um, it's like a two and a half, but it's on the, the cranking stick. He was in the super thick stuff. Stay out of the tree. He just went in there so politely. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a nice guy. Okay, crankbait's the move, put on crankbaits. That's a two pounder. Yeah, a little bigger. On the crankbait, this fish is way warmer than the air is. He was way up on the bank in that super thick stuff up there. I literally... I just had a fish. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're like in the structure, in the structure. It is warming up. <laughs> That water is so much warmer than there. I'm jumping in. Yeah. Last three fish have just been on this Excite square bill with a purple top on it. If I catch another fish in a crankbait, you guys need to switch. Probably. Let's see if I, if I catch one more though, because I wanted a bite in that brush pile, so they could just be in thick stuff. We're thinking different thing. Oh, another good one. It just absolutely crushed this, dude. He ate it on top water. All right, dude, I can't do anything. Look at the rod, yeah. man. <laughs> Crank it stick. Oh. That's a good one. Dude, yeah. look how he ate it. Yeah. Look, it's gone. A little bigger look than the Look at last. that. Oh, man. Put on a crankbait. Yeah, he just inhaled it. I need them pliers. <laughs> I think he's not in the gills either, which is perfect. Yeah, he's not. It's literally perfect. Look. Uh -huh. It's just wedged. He's not even like hooked. This thing. You gotta press the little metal butt bead. Oh, okay. That, yeah. Press it in. It's literally just wedged. My hands are so cold. Yeah. 
like, oh my god, how I can't even unhook this thing. He got it so good. Did it turn on? There we go. Look at that. I don't think he's quite going through. No, nah, probably not. Dude, he five, hammered maybe. it though. Look at that fish. On the that's probably two. I'd give him like two pounds, ten ounces, probably. Something like that, like two and three quarters ish. On a log, and I mean, I don't know if you guys could see that on the camera. He came up and absolutely hammered it. He ate it on top. Did you see the swirl on top? Nah. He, oh, did you see it? I saw part of that. He came up and ate it like it's on like top. Right on, that's what the one in the tournament did the other night for me. Huh. What I'm doing, by the way, for you two, huh. is I'm literally hitting logs. Like the whole point of a square bill is that it can bounce off of logs, right? Like with its lip. So I'm trying, I'm hitting logs with this crankbait. I'm using the big right up there. That sun needs to come up quicker. Yeah, I'm freezing. Another one. Netable? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't both of them with this rod, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of netting. That's all right. Dude, <laughs> the crankbait bite is on, I guess. These fish are literally a hundred times warmer than the air. Yeah. Just off that tree. He was, that one wasn't even, I was just got done talking about how they're like really close to cover. And that one was not. Pound and a quarter probably. Super pale. Look how dirty, the water's so dirty. These fish are super pale. That is bass number five in the past 15 minutes. And it had been an hour before we got our first bite. That one was just off the end of a tree. Yeah, if a fish is that size or big, I'm going to have to net it, though, with yeah. this rod. That's all right. I'm five for five landing them, though, with a crankbait, which is rare. Another one. Next cast. He barely even, like, hit it. He's, well, he's three inches long, uh -huh. but he has every hook in him. Every hook. No, these are the ones that hook me. Do not. No, 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 no. I watched him eat it when nope. he looked away. Like. <laughs> he ate it like on top. Yeah, I... No! Uh-uh. You were not hooking me. Number... I think six. All on a square, though. Two good ones. One decent one and three that size. <laughs> Not Owen just hooks at a fish into a different dimension. I hooks at it and it almost just flew to the front of the boat. <laughs> it almost hit me. It almost killed Connor. That's our like f what fourth or fifth fish that size. The super tiny That's ones. Hook Here I'll do it. I'll, I've got the best way to do it for the video. Watch. Let me grab these. This is how, this is how you deal with these fish. I'll show the camera. Watch it. No. Stop. Stop. Goodbye. That was fish number, I think, seven. Six or seven. Something like that. I was on a bluegill square, but also who knows what these fish are doing. Oh my God, Lewis. You actually caught a fish? I have a fish. On the micro bill? It's a, it's a it's white a bass. bass. Is that shrimp? <laughs> it's a giant yellow bass. These are related to white bass. It's a giant yellow bass, dude. I haven't caught a yellow bass this big in forever. Hey, we broke a record. Okay, me and Lewis are pre-fishing for the tournament tomorrow. I'm throwing this clip in at the end of the video from today where me, Connor, and Owen went fishing. And we're trying to catch anything to figure out a bite for tomorrow. to tournament, and I just caught a yellow bass on a square bill. We haven't caught a bass. The Troy motor's battery's dead. We're not going to catch a fish in the tournament tomorrow. Look at this, dude. Okay, there he goes. Look at that. Boom. 
Fish. A good one, too. Good. Good. It's a square build only tournament tomorrow. Right, Dude, if this is big, I'm going to be so angry. It's not that big. It's not that big. Would it keep tomorrow? Yes, probably. Sure. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That would keep. That'd be borderline. That would... But it's off the square build, right? Yeah. That's what we're trying to watch. Okay. Look how fat he is. There's no way he would keep, but he's fat. That's a 15 incher. They have to be 16 for tomorrow. Our first ever largemouth. We've never caught one of those before. We're brand new to fishing, apparently. What do I have? Is this a fish? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> we are drop the poles. Drop the power poles. Blur out the lure, blur out the lure. Drop the yeah, blurring out blurring out blurring out the lure, blurring out the spot. We are on them for tomorrow. Everyone else in the tournament be be scared. This is the target right here. So here you go. Do you want them? Yeah. You got like an aquarium? Yeah. There oh you go. Look God. at that. There's Lewis for comparison size of the, the mega bass right there. That's correct. That would win tomorrow for sure. Get a release, get a release, get a release. It's a crappie. <laughs> so that, like, that's, a keeper. that's a keeper. What are we doing? <laughs> what? It yes, it's a keeper crappie, dude. <laughs> that's kind of, yeah. No, no, not on my. Put him in the calm down, calm down. You're going to the live while we're frying you up, frying you up. Okay, so we've got a yellow bass, a white crappie, and two not keeper largemouth. So basically, we're on them. I have another something on. Is it a bluegill? It was a bluegill. Dang it, dude. It got off. We're about to hit every it was a bluegill. Oh my God, dude. We're counting that, dude, because we're going to hit every single species of fish, and it's guaranteed.